love this music so much. <clears throat> That's why I had so much of it playing before I started. Hi hi, this is Genki Call here with a review for the game Valley. If you're wondering why I am reviewing this game right now, it's because it is on sale at Steam for 90% off at the moment. This is uh, Summer Sale 2022. It's a historic low. And in my opinion, it's worth the $1.49 just to be able to put on this song anytime you want and have it playing in the background. It's so, so soothing and just, I love it so much. This is one of my favorite music tracks from a game ever. So let's get into the review. What you're seeing here is the review that I wrote on Steam for the game when I played it five years ago. This is from 2017. It's been almost exactly five years. I bought this at the summer sale five years ago and I paid five bucks for it and it was totally worth it. Anyway, I'm not going to read all of this, but I do want to go over some of this with you. Well, quite a bit of it actually. <laughs> so, um, we'll get into the graphics in a bit. I'm actually going to take you into the game in a bit and after I finish with the review portion and I will show you what it's like in game. So things don't really make sense in the beginning. There's no interface, you can't jump or climb, it's just walking or running around and looking at things. But it doesn't take long before you find your leaf suit. And that's when your movement becomes truly free. There's something so satisfying about running like a deer through the forest and jumping and soaring through the air as if you were born to fly. It still, to this day, makes me smile just thinking about it. This is a first-person perspective game, and, um, you know, you'll see your hand lift up now and then, but beyond that, it's just, you're just experiencing everything. The story progresses through a combination of notes that you find in audio tapes that will play when you hit certain trigger points. You'll find those audios pretty early on. You can't miss them. They're right at the beginning of the game, and it's how the story progresses. There's also an occasional text pop-up as the character talks to him or herself, rather like Ethan Carter. Your special suit allows you to collect energized orbs, which seem to spawn all over the valley. You have an upgradable energy gauge with up to 24 cells, each of which has four power bars. If you take a hit and lose a bar, you just collect an orb to re replenish it. Your suit itself has the power to give life and to take it. The controls are pretty simple. Walk, run, jump, give life, shoot, or take life. Whenever you give life to something, there's a chance of getting one or more golden acorns, which I'll come back to in a bit. You don't get acorns if you're the one that killed the animal or foliage, so keep that in mind. You can't just kill it and then bring it back to life and expect to get an acorn, in other words. The valley itself has a life gauge of its own, in the form of a tree branch with leaves at the top left of the screen. Leaves will fall off the branch both when you kill things and when you die lose all the leaves and the valley dies, here's a hint, don't let the valley die. I never did, and I'm glad because you won't get all of the achievements if you die during your gameplay, so if you're an achievement hunter, keep that in mind. You can replenish the leaves by bringing things back to life. You'll lose power every time you give life, and you'll die if your power gets to zero, so you have to find a good balance between collecting orbs and giving lives. So I mentioned dying, and Valley handles it in a way I've never seen before and I've never seen since. Your suit has the power to resurrect you, so to speak, but at a price. Every time you die, it brings you back, but in return, it takes the life of the things around you. This is why the health of the valley suffers when you get yourself in a situation that would normally end your life for good. So the crosshairs, what we interact with, there are three different colors. There's white, but it means there's no action to be taken. Blue means you can take life, and green means you can give life or attack. If you're colorblind, that's okay. The devs thought of that because each color has a slightly different shape. And, you know, you'll see for yourself when I get in the game. As for the enemies, I spent the first hour or so just exploring the game, bringing things back to life, collecting acorns, trying out the suit, and to be honest, for a moment I thought, uh, do I 
really want to play Valley right now. It's kind of boring. Of course, I did go back in the game, and I'm so glad I did because I ended up enjoying it so much. There aren't a huge variety of enemies, and they're not really all that challenging, but it definitely added some zest to the game. Between the story and the appearance of the first enemies, I really started enjoying the game. You would think that taking life would be the proper response to dealing with enemies, but it's not going to do you any good. It's actually the opposite here. What you need to do is shoot them with your giving life energy. And here's a secret for those who would like a bit of an advantage during the gameplay. I won't give a spoiler, just a little spoiler. Try jumping through an Amrita swarm once you've quelled it. They look like a big bunch of bees. Once you quell them, you can jump through the Amrita swarm and it will fill up your energy. It's a very nice way to get some power if you're low. So there are collectibles and upgrades in the game. Story element pages that you can find. There are Easter egg pages that references to an another game by this dev, you'll know them by the unintelligible sketchings pop-up that appears when you get close to them, the golden acorns which you need to open acorn doors, medallions which are used to open pyramid doors, your leaf suit upgrades which are mostly found during normal story progression, and power modules for the leaf suit. Upgrades! Woohoo! We love upgrades! Nice! So, for quick info, there are no real puzzles in the game. Revival of the character comes at the cost of the living things around you, as I mentioned. You can pull orbs to you by using the Take Life button. You don't have to physically touch them, which can be very helpful, because you can collect them from a distance. Collectible items will either glow or flash so that you don't miss them, which is nice. The crosshair symbols, as mentioned, they'll change to reflect your possible um, actions. Shooting enemies is not a primary or even a secondary focus, so don't expect to spend a lot of time shooting down enemies or, you know, it's just not the focus of the game. There is some platforming required, including an area where you have to take action mid-air. It's not as difficult as something like a story about my uncle, but you do have to have a little hand-eye coordination. Achievements. Loves me some achievements. There are 30 achievements to be had in Valley. Many come via story progression, but you're going to have to work for some of them. If you're an achievement hunter like me, I definitely recommend checking out the list, uh, checking out the list of achievements on Steam is what that means. Because um, if you're not careful, you could end up having to replay the game for the reason I already mentioned, which was complete the game without the Valley dying. You want it? You gotta work for it. When you play through a chapter, you have objectives that you need to, co to complete listed in the top right corner. And when you go back to replay a chapter, it will tell you how many collectibles are left in the region. Yeah! Be aware that the achievements, like finding a certain item, won't show up on the list, however. The final thoughts on this game, glory, glory, glory. I did not mean to say glory. I skipped ahead. Sorry. Valley is a glorified walking simulator with some shooting later in the game. It's not going to be something that appeals to everyone. Truly, it's not. Me, I loved it. The combination of the music and the visuals is just enchanting, and the story was interesting enough that I wanted to keep playing to find out more. My only disappointment with the game is that I really would have liked to have seen an epilogue, but that aside, I had a lot of fun with this title and did go back in to get all of my achievements. Uh, another thing of note, which I skipped up here... Where is it? Ah, you have up to... Oh, right, here is. We have an insta-travel tra map with nine areas we can jump to once they're unlocked. Although there are points in the story where this is not ex um, accessible. Um, right, you have to have... Oh, you have up to four pro profiles at any given time, and it saves automatically, but this, the spacing, it's far apart. The did it save or did it not save issue is one I saw a lot when I was looking through the reviews five years ago, and they may have changed it since then. I don't know. It's been five years. So here's a saving tip. Pull up the menu and choose travel. If the new area hasn't shown up on the map, the game probably hasn't saved. So... 
Um, I will put a link to my Steam review in the description box below. I'll also put a link to the Steam page so that you can check this out if you decide you want to buy it. It's $1.49 right now. It's a fantastic price. But for now, let's go back into the game and actually play a little bit so that I can show you how beautiful this is. Um, let's see, I really like Susurus Valley, if that's how you say it. Um, now remember, it's been five years since I've played this, so I'm a little rusty with the controls, but I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping that I will be okay with this. Now you can run once you have your leaps, leaf suit. You can jump, you can fly through the air. It's just really fun. Uh, for now, let's see, we can run. Pacha! Here are some of those orbs. Now, if you fall in water or fall a really long distance, you're gonna die. Watch the leaves at the top left. Ah, yeah! There went two of my leaves because I literally just died. And I just stole the life from some of the stuff around me. The valley has um, died a little bit. So here's something dead. We'll shoot it and make it pretty again. All right. So let's get out of this area and love it. I really like bringing things back to life. <laughs> ah, yeah. Lots of these orbs, like I said, you can bring them to you without having to go over there. Extra power for your bars up there at the top left. Now look at these little critter critters. Yeah, they're so cute. Let me see if I can get one up close. Now, you can actually steal their life. Look. Oh, look how sad it is now. We'll give its life back. And now it's happy. <laughs> Love it. They're too cute to kill. I don't want to kill. Well, I just don't want to kill anything. I want to bring everything back to life. There's something dead. Let's bring it back. Whee! Are you dead? Yes, you are dead as well. Let's make you alive. And there's a golden acorn easy to spot. Alright, let's jump over here. Now there are a couple little, um, no, there aren't any real puzzles. There are a couple little areas where you may have to say, ah, oh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that, but it's really not that big a deal. Let's see. I like bringing things back to life. I have trouble. <laughs> I'm using a controller. There's a couple of acorns. Ooh, acorns. Not that I need them, I've already unlocked all of the acorn doors on this profile. Basically, I'm in here right now because I want to show you how pretty these graphics are and a little bit of the gameplay just to show you. You're going to be running around a lot, you're going to be jumping, you're going to be um, exploring a lot. There are the collectibles I talked about, but you know, it's not, it's not a triple A game, but look at these graphics. I mean, I find it beautiful personally. I don't, I'm not a graphic snob. I like some, there's a deer. I, I really like some pretty graphics and I think these are beautiful graphics. La la la. Whee. I just enjoyed this game so much. There are no enemies in this area that I recall. This is one of the early areas. Um, it's just basically player versus environment in here, trying not to fall in the water and die. <laughs> but like I said, some platforming elements um, to get used to. Grab some energy balls. Meow. Let's go run over here and jump into the water because uh, run with the deer. Whee! Aw, interrupted. I want to kind of jump into the water. Actually, I think I can run across the water. <laughs> this is something that you can do. This is one of the leaf suit upgrades, and you can only do it for a little while, but there are areas later in the game where you can literally walk on water. Well, you can't walk. You have to run, but you know what I mean. So anyway, that is my review of valley i hope that you enjoyed this if you would like to have more of this type of thing for me if you'd like me to start working on reviews for games i have a ton of them i have many many reviews 
And um, if, if you like this kind of thing, let me know down in the comments and I will be happy to do more because I am really enthusiastic about the games that I enjoy and I love sharing that information with people. So um, if you want more, let me know and I hope that you've enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you folks soon. Bye!